So the story with this is that uh, initially it was probably treated five to seven years ago and then probably since then treated at least two to four times and last biopsied about a year ago and it was a squamous cell carcinoma that has continued to grow and one of the problems with the situation is that this is what you end up with when it's not recognized that there's something back here that you can barely see but actually it was treated too conservatively there's a palpable bump there and as I look into my dermatoscope I can photograph as you can see in just a second what actually is likely an early squamous cell carcinoma and if this isn't actually excised quite likely it's tracking down appendageal structures and that it will not be taken care of by liquid nitrogen and this can be the beginning if inappropriately handled of something that ends up like this five years later so this is the uh, important uh, lesson to learn and that is that we need to begin to recognize what we might think clinically are indeterminate lesions but with dermoscopy we can oftentimes see that there's greater depth to them than just the surface and we probably shouldn't be freezing these with liquid nitrogen or at least we should be numbing them and freezing them very very hard and then following carefully and make sure there's nothing left but whenever there's a palpable uh, area such as this uh, probably shouldn't even freeze it anyway just do a deep dermal excision and ensure that you get the root of it but uh, that way we hopefully won't lead to this This is the actual dermatoscopic view, which, which shows some uh, hyperkeratosis and rather nonspecific findings. But more and more, uh, the expert dermoscopists are describing even subtle features of nonpigmented lesions, trying to help us understand the difference between a, s a simple actinic keratosis and uh, the difference between that and possibly evolving squamous cell carcinoma in situ. section. 